the LA sessions, I really wasn't in favor of. Um, to be honest, I don't remember exactly why, but I, I didn't see the point. I don't even remember what we did. I know we did heroin over again, and to this day I could kill the rest of the band. Um, you might, no one maybe ever even notices this, but right in the middle of it, the drums stop. And the reason is, because no one ever thinks about the drummer, they're all worried about what does the guitar sound like and stuff, and nobody's thinking about the drummer. Well, as soon as it got loud and fast, I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear anybody. So I stopped, assuming, well, they'll stop too, <laughs> and say, what's the matter, Mo? <laughs> but nobody stopped. And then, you know, so I came back in, and to this, that just, I loved that song, and when we, I loved playing it, and having that on the record just kills me. But I, I don't even remember what else we did that session um, at, at all. I don't remember at all. I, heroin's the, the one that sticks out in my mind. And the way I played with the Velvets, uh, as I said before, we did so much improvising at first, um, when we first were playing, that it quickly became clear to me that my job was to keep something steady so the two lunatics would have something to come back to. <laughs> um, no aspersions. Um, you know, I was the rhythm section, and, and I, always, I always hate in songs where the drum stops because now the drummer's banging on the cymbals or I hate that. To me, it's, you know, the, the drum should be throughout the song. Um, and I, I felt like it was my job, me and Sterl, basically, to keep, for instance, it would just be noise. If there's no rhythm under there, it's just noise. Now, Lou is playing feedback, which with a rhythm behind it is like, wow, this is really cool. But if, if what is, what is, oh God, there's a, I'll have to think of this. There's a song where he, when he mixed it, he way puts up his guitar and takes out, you can't hear any rhythm, and it's the greatest guitar solo, but it just sounds like noise. Um, anyway, that, that's one, one part of why I played like I did too, was to keep something steady for them, not only to come back to, but for the audience to not just think, you know, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> um, and I, I have met a lot of people in my playing with my band that have said that I've really influenced them a lot, and that's gratifying. That's certainly, I never thought that would happen. Yeah, yeah, Sterling's a great rhythm guitar player, I think. Great rhythm guitar player. Um, yeah, mostly he was, it, mostly rhythm. He has solos in, in a number of songs, and I think he's a, a ex, I loved his guitar playing, solos or um, rhythm. But we were basically the rhythm section. Um, not the bass and me, but the guitar player and me. Sterling was a uh, more technical guitar player than Lou. Um, I love Sterling's guitar playing, so that's not that doesn't mean I, uh, that's not a put down, but he was much more technical and for him to, f to go flying off into space, I can't even imagine him even thinking of doing that. <laughs>